Hey, UConn Nation, it's KK Arnold here. If you're looking for the latest UConn women's basketball content, go subscribe to Listen Up to Phil and Ryan. Go Huskies. Phil and Ryan, Listen Up. Thank you, KK and Ryan. We're down to about, I think, a little less than three weeks, 18 days. I want to ask you, first of all, the spotlight goes on Ashlyn Shade on this episode. And the names, all the names are important, right? But now we're starting to get down into the big, big, big names. And you know what I mean, Ryan. So, hey, I appreciate you joining me on this late Saturday night into Sunday morning. First of all, I want to start this podcast. Tell me what you think about Ashland Shade. Not only that, how do you feel about this countdown to the first game? To me, it's almost like counting down to Christmas, you know, when you count down when Santa comes and, you know, you can't wait to get all the gifts and blah, 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 you know. So, yeah, tell me how you feel counting down about 18 days left. Yeah, it's it's definitely exciting. The the closer it gets, the more exciting it gets as we're yeah, we're we're counting down each and every day now. Have been for the past two or three months, honestly. Uh, but yeah, hard to believe Halloween's almost here. And yeah, just eighteen days until the season, I believe. So yeah, it's hard to believe everything's just coming at one time. And yeah, trying to to grind away at this player series. As of course, like you mentioned, we move on to Ashland Shade now, and you know I'm I'm really expecting a big sophomore season, and I really expect her to kind of continue where she left off from last year. Played in 38 games last year, started in 33 of them, which was basically every game after November, and you know I, I kind of really expect her to be a day one starter this year, and hopefully she can continue showing off the hot hand on offense, averaging 11 points last year. I think that number is going to go up uh, and going to improve. Shade has been a consistent shooter. She was last year, has such a quick release when she shoots the ball. And, you know, when she gets hot from three-point range, it's hard for the other team to stop her uh, once she gets going. And it's not really just her scoring threat either that she poses. It's a rebounding and defense that she also brings to the table that helps this team out a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, I would just say her all-around energy and hustle that really helped the team get to the finish line and especially a lot during the postseason as well. But, uh, you know, kind of just did w whatever the team needed whatever the Huskies needed her to do to win some of those games. And some nights she would score 20 to 25 points. Other nights maybe it would be 10 points, but she would have the rebounds and the defensive stats. But uh, when she settled into that starting role last year in December, she basically played 35 to 38 minutes every game. And doing that, especially as a freshman and being a vital piece for this UConn Huskies team, was really impressive to watch. So, like I said, I'm really excited to see what is in store for Ashlyn Shade during her sophomore campaign because I'm really expecting all of her averages to just go up and continue to be a, a really important player for this team. Well, if I tell you I'm smiling, it would probably make you smile a whole lot more. I'm watching a big three from downtown right now from Ashland Shade. And Ryan, it was against the Maryland Terrapins uh, during the big blowout win that UConn had last year um, in stores, right, at Gamble. And you and I were there, all right? So I hope yeah. that you do remember that. Uh, but no, I'm just kidding. So anyway, yeah, man, I mean, look, let me tell you. If one of these current freshmen coming into UConn can put in at least half of what Ashlyn Shade did during her freshman year, they're in pretty good shape, let me tell you. Because Ashlyn Shade, the way she drove to the basket so quick last season, I'm watching the highlights right now, currently talking to you and everybody else. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and comment away. Comments that seem to be going down a little bit. No, I'm not saying anything bad about none of our subs. Look, this is important, Ryan. Tell them how important it is. The season's almost here. All right, we need to hear voices. We need. We go through every single comment. We want you to comment away. The season's almost here for these UConn Huskies. These uh great women who Ryan they put in the work day in and day out, right? So we can be treated to great basketball almost every night now for the next what, four or five months. But anyway, 
Ashlyn Shade. Ashlyn Shade. Let me tell you, Ryan, I think definitely, I don't think any one of these coaching, uh, th- th- these coaches on this staff would have guessed, what, who was it? K.K. Arnold, of course, we'll have the episode later about her. But Ashlyn Shade, if I would have told you that she would have done, done even half of this, the performance she had in her freshman year, would have, uh, would you have believed it? And and not only that, you're telling me that there's not going to be a sophomore slump. Yeah, it, it kind of is hard to believe. And, you know, there was really no other choice for her to, to kind of step up and do what she did. And she definitely did it at an exceptional level. And, yeah, I'm not really expect, uh, expecting a slump of any kind. Uh, yeah, I think she's in for another really good season for this team. I think she's already proven she's a really good shooter, a really good scorer. Uh, I think she fits into the offense perfectly. Uh, so I, I think, you know, she, obviously she's already a good fit on this team. Uh, and I know, you know, opening night was last night, I believe, uh, in Gamble. And I know that was a packed house full of uh, all the all sorts of activities, the three-point contests, I believe. I think Ali Zabel did pretty good in that. So that's that's always fun to watch. Another thing, you get the fans uh, even more excited for the new season to start. But yeah, I'm expecting really big things out of Ashland. Like I said, I think all of her numbers are just going to go up from last year because I think she's going to start in probably even more games. It might be interesting to see uh, maybe Caitlin Chen starts a couple of those games, maybe when Albert Griffin or AZ Fudd comes back, maybe Ashland will shift uh, to the bench a couple nights. But I think Ashland, no matter what, she's always going to be there to provide pretty consistent offense the whole entire season and like I said she's already pretty solid on defense and uh, always crashing to the board putting in the effort for this team grabbing the rebounds as well yeah you said it right great job a 510 guard out of Noblesville Ryan Noblesville Indiana Uh, if you look at the stats I told you right before we came on tonight uh, she had 38 games played Right. And and the the numbers that pop out to me are listen to this for a freshman. All right. You ready for this? Three point percentage, 35, around 35. Field goal percentage, 48. Okay. Free throw percentage. And we always talk about a lot of people, you know, I know talk about basketball. Ah, free throw percentage. Look, what did I tell you about March, Ryan, or these any game when it comes down to a point or two? Sometimes free throws, right? Free throw percentage around 91 all right so that is man ryan if that does not get your eyes popping tonight even though it's almost time for bed then i don't know what will let's go over to some comments ryan from that last video we thank everybody we love each and every one of y'all thank you so much for supporting this channel and the yukon huskies women's basketball team just me ryan said thanks phil and ryan for the update on iana patterson I remember how excited I was when she chose UConn because of her great high school career. I hope she can stay healthy so we can see her full potential. Speaking of James Brown, the commentator, I hope to see you two at his level someday. Whoa. I don't know if I'd be a Ryan now. That would be something. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. It, I think it'd take probably just a little work to try to get uh, little, anywhere close to his little, level. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we we can only we can only hope. But uh, yeah, I think for <laughs> Iona Patterson, uh, yeah, I mean, staying healthy obviously is a big part for this team. We're all hoping everybody can stay healthy. Of course, it not not great news about the the brace on her arm, but hopefully that's not going to affect her when the season does start because we definitely need all the depth that we can get uh, in terms of this, this front court uh, for the the centers and forwards on this team. But yeah, I think for Ayana's, you know, in for a pretty good season as well. I think it's about, you know, actually getting in the game, getting opportunities for her. I think Sarah strong looked pretty good last night during that opening night. So it's a lot of, a lot of expectations and excitement around Sarah strong, uh, Jana L. Alfie as well. So I think Ayana Patterson definitely uh, has a, a little bit of competition down there in, in terms of the forwards going. Uh, but I, I think Ayana is going to get plenty of chances to play 
And, you know, she did do pretty solid her freshman season when she was healthy. Jason, we would still like to catch up with you before the season tips off. Send us some dates, and hopefully we can get you on Listen Up. Jason said, unfortunately, it doesn't look good for Ayana at the moment, but even if she does recover, Ayana will be basically starting from scratch as far as experience. Her freshman campaign was not anything to write home about. Uh, while her hustle was undeniable, hustle is a Husky's default setting. All of her other skills were not that impressive, and I don't see her making any kind of meaningful impact anytime soon. It would be really nice uh, to be proven wrong on this one because I do like her piece. Very, very well said, Ryan. And as I see, a lot of Huskies fans love Ayanna Patterson, right? Uh, but again, the athleticism is there from what I see and from her high school highlights. But yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I, you know, like I said in that episode, I think there's definitely some things, obviously, that she could work on and improve on during her or from her freshman season. And uh, unfortunately, she she didn't get to to show show that during the, the regular season uh, in the season because she she couldn't play due to that injury. So, you know, hopefully that doesn't affect her sitting all that time and trying to recover from that injury and trying to improve her basketball skills as well. So hopefully we get to see her this season healthy and hopefully we, we get to see some improved skills, uh, you know, finishing down low there in the paint, improving some of those uh, defensive and rebound skills. But I definitely think it's all there. I think if she can put everything together, she can be a, a really important piece for this team. Important piece for this team, indeed. Good luck to Ayanna Patterson. Again, the spotlight goes on not Ayanna Patterson today, but Ashlyn Shade. Ryan, how about this one? The most reliable way to predict the future is to create it. And we're going to create that next episode. Who's next on the list? It all comes down to number one right here on Ryan. You say it this time. Right here on Listen Up. <laughs>